Hello everybody, today we dive into the world of the YF-23, a stealth fighter that wired for superiority against the renowned F-2 Raptor. Join us as we delve into the capabilities of and unique features of this formidable aircraft. The YF-23, also known as the Black Widow 2, was an advanced stealth fighter designed by Northrop and McDonnell Douglas. It was developed to compete against F-100 Raptor in the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program, a quest to create the next generation of air superiority. Stealth Technology the YF-23 boasted advanced stealth features including unique faceated design, radar absorbing material and internal weapons bay. These characteristics allowed it to reduce its radar signature making, making it harder to detect and track by enemy radars. It is said that YF-23's radar cross section is much much lower than the F-22 Raptor that is the YF-23 is more stealthy than F-22 Raptor. One of the standout features of the YF-23 was its ability to achieve sustained supersonic speed without using its afterburners and capability known as supercruise. Giving this gives it an advantage in terms of speed and fuel efficiency over traditional fighter jets. Advanced Avionics The YF-23 incorporated cutting-edge avionics including fly-by-wire, control and advanced sensor fusion. These systems enhance the situation awareness and overall combat effectiveness. Trust structuring. And this is where the YF-23 kind of lag because to uh, miniaturize the radar cross section, the YF-23's engine was less vectorable than the Raptor's engine. That is, the YF-23 was not as much maneuverable as the F-100 Raptor. Now this is what finally ended the YF-23's career. While the YF-23 showcased remarkable capabilities including advanced stealth features, super cruise ability and advanced avionics, it ultimately lost the competition due to, to the F-100 Raptor factors such as cost, maintainability and maneuverability led to the selection of the F-22 Raptor as the primary air superiority fighter for the United States. Thanks for watching.